Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. This is Planet Coaster. And in my last episode, we created this beautiful, awesome water river rapids ride inside of the cube, which is really, really awesome. <laughs> Drop a like if you like the cube. In this episode today, I really, really want to make this first level complete as much as possible. So there's two things I really want to do. One of the things I want to do is build this ride. This is a awesome coaster. This is the Stingray and it is a coaster where you kind of lay down and you kind of ride it kind of flat. It's kind of cool. It's inverted in the sense that the coaster is above you as well, which is pretty interesting. So we are going to use that to kind of occupy the space over in this corner. The other thing I'm gonna do is from your guys' suggestions and comments, and that is to basically turn this beautiful park, beautiful cube, into a, you know, little greenhouse almost by just injecting it with loads of plants, trees, and fauna. It's gonna look absolutely awesome from the outside, and uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be pretty neat. So if you enjoy this video, definitely drop a like, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and join the club, and uh, every subscription comes free with a ticket to get into the cube. Right, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do actually is a little bit of maintenance here. So a lot of people are complaining that they're thirsty. So all I kind of want to do here is add in a shop for a beverage. So let's look at the beverages here. Let's pick one. Custom. Uh, let's go for... Wait, that's not beverages. Here we go. Let's go for an energy drink. I could use an energy drink right now. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. It's because we've been up all night playing video games. Alright, so that's in. That looks great. We've got a little energy drink beverage establishment, which is great. And i got to say, this park is actually insane. We've got like $37,000 and we've not even finished the first level. So this is going to be possibly one of the best theme parks I've ever built. Which, uh... Woo! See ya! <laughs> Right, okay, let's get on to the Stingray. Okay, so like I said, the plan is to get the Stingray, start it from over here, and get it over into this corner and kind of do some kind of fun movement coaster stuff in that corner. So, uh, let's do that. So the first thing, actually, before I build the actual coaster is to build the entrance and stuff. So, like that. There we go. So I have to move this one little tree. That's fine. Pop that. Yeah. There. Wait. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Right. So there we go. There's the entrance. Done. Looking good. And here's the exit. Looking good. And yes, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. So let's start building. Okay, so obviously, to begin with, we kind of want to go up a little bit. I don't want to go terribly steep, but I do want to go fast. Um, you know, it's pretty important. And we're going to do it a little bit different today. So I'm going to build like this here. And I definitely want to get through this little <laughs> circular ride because... We've already got a few things going in there, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I've done <laughs> a little bit here. So let's just see. No, a ride's broken down. No, 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 no. Ride's breaking down is so bad because... Wait, this isn't broken down. What? I'm so confused. This is... Uh, well, I can't request inspection. Is someone already fixing it or... Yeah, he is. Oh, he is on it. What a legend. Right. Yeah, this should be pretty good. So we've got kind of a goes under here, wave up, down, and then we've got a loop, which I kind of want to go up against the glass. Uh, so let's quickly test this out and see if this actually works. All right. So let's take a look here. See if my estimations are any good. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Man, that is close. Right, okay, so take number two. 
It's funny, I actually kind of guessed it 100% correct. I kind of guessed that it would stop there. I was just like a little tiny bit off. So here we go. Let's start to see if I fix this section. I right, should go down through there, round. There we go, good. Yeah, way more speed now. Here we go. I think this will be fine. Oh! <laughs> hey! Nice. I mean, not nice, because you crashed in front of everyone walking into the park. They're like, oh my god, what is this place? But, you know, not bad, not bad. Alright, so this is where I really want to go up as high as I can. Alright, so, now we've got a little bit of a boost and a little bit more speed to play with. Let's do some of that. Right, there we go. And I think if we aim in that direction... Uh... Guys, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I'm not joking. The game is not paused. That is literally just sat there. Wow. I'm really good at, like, predicting speeds, but kind of also in a terrible way. I kind of want to see if this ever moves. Is it literally just going to... Yep, it's just going to sit there. <laughs> That is, I don't even know if you could do that if you tried. That's, that's kind of impressive. All right, so I think we're finished here. And I've got to say this, I don't know what the ratings are yet, but I've watched it go around. And I think this might be one of my most favorite rides I've built in quite a long time, actually. This is genuinely quite insane. Uh, so you've seen the start and goes up here around, does the invert up get some more height also just complete tangent here but it's really bothering me because people keep mentioning it so over on this coaster people go ollie this isn't realistic this list this looks dumb like there's no supports and i completely 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 agree okay but the alternative is this which is poles sticking out of the cube and it looking awful and it just really doesn't look aesthetically pleasing outside of the cube <laughs> The cube. Uh, so I've been turning the track supports off for those rogue poles here, which is really annoying because it kind of like it needs, like you guys have said, supports, but I just don't want it doing that. Actually, in fairness, over here, I could kind of extend this um, little section here. So, FYI, this is why I do this. Uh, haha. <laughs> There we go. And then I'll just chisel some of this in. There you go. So may maybe I can put in some track supports here. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, that still goes outside of the cube. It's really annoying. So no support for you. Over here, you get support. There you go. Okay, so I'll allow that. Okay, that's fine. I think there's some more over there. But anyway, so you get some more speed. You go under... I love how this weaves in and out with the white coaster we made. Under here. Just barely misses this. I think this is safe. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I do need to check it over that. Under that. It goes round. And then we have a massive loop. Which is going to be cool. And then up. Uh... Turn on the invert, which I need to smoothen out. This is not, this is not okay. Um, there you go. Just smoothen it out a little bit. There we go, cool. Go down, round, go up. Say hello to people in the boat at a kind of a slow speed. It's just kind of a nice interaction. I love doing this. You guys know if you watch my videos. I love having rides interact with each other. I think that's really novel and cool. Go down here. This is way too banked. So what I was thinking... There we go. Uh, yeah, this does not need to be that banked. There we go. Weird. Um, under here. Whoop. Over the track. Under the track. Over that. Round. Say hello to people on that ride. Round. Uh, this needs to be... Man, my banking's all over the place here. Uh, let's try and smoothen this round. There we go. That needs to be that way. Is that right? Yeah, round. And then slum. Up and down. Back round to the beginning. Which hopefully will be at a good speed. Alright. 
So, give me a rating out of 10 for what you think of this build before you see the rating. Uh, I'm kind of, like, I actually am a little bit skeptical of what the rating's going to be, but I think this looks awesome and is just, like, I'm really, really happy with it. So, let's give it a little goo and see how we get on. Right, test, rides, we've got the, res uh, the stats there. Okay, here we go. Bear in mind, you're laying flat on your chest with your legs behind you, so it's kind of a different... Uh, experience to your normal roller coaster, but it's one that I think is really cool and one that I've been on and I love it. Okay, oh, that's already awesome. Oh, and also it's kind of scary because you can't see where the track goes. Okay, we can smooth out that little bit. Whoa, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Going up against the glass, love it, super cool. Get some height here, see the train. Here we go, this is where it's going to get interesting. So, oh, jeez. Down. Oh, the invert. Oh, the bank curve, back round. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was good. Hello, boat people. Hello. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Imagine me saying that as I go around a roller coaster. Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. How's it going? Okay, this is fine. We're only going 35 miles an hour, but I'm kind of okay with this. And back in. So I don't know what the results are going to be. Please be good. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, not the best. Not the best. So a 5.8 isn't bad by any means, but it's just not great. Um, one thing I do want to sort out is this. This was pretty dreadful. So maybe this will help with our rating slightly. All right, so I've managed to get it to a much better level here. I've got it in the green. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy with this. I think this is fairly reasonable. We've got a 6, a 3.4, and a 0 0.78. It's a very, it doesn't make you ill at all. It's a really nice ride, actually. Uh, look at the results here. So the track length is 923 meters. Maximum speed is only 56, so it's pretty slow. Maximum G-force is oh, nearly a 5. Um, but there we go. So the way I managed to do this, I actually didn't change the track at all. So one thing I did, if I pause it here, as you can see, I've actually reduced the amount of uh, uh, sections to the coaster itself. And I've actually got two going around. So there should be, there we go, this is the other one. So basically, the problem was for a lot of these sections it was slowing it down having it really long it was making it faster for some sections but it was slowing down and taking the excitement away from others and so because this is based on averages um this is basically really helped with um that overall scores which is good so yes really happy with this but now i need to uh do some greenery so i'll be right back oh actually before before i do that i need to obviously open up the beautiful, beautiful ride. And I'm going to put out $14 to go on this. And a nice thing is as well, having two coasters go around will help with keeping the queues nice and small. So, yeah, that's good. It's good, good, good. Okay, this is a good result. I literally just opened it up and people are literally piling into this like absolute crazy people. That's awesome. Uh, oh, hire a vendor. All right, there you go. Couple of vendors. <laughs> Wow, this is... Jeez. Alright, people love the... Look at this. Awesome stuff. Love that. Anyway, yeah, like I said, back to the greenery. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are going to love this, I think. I've So I've made, before I show you, I've made tweaks to colours in the park and also the vegetation and fauna, as I mentioned. So are you prepared for this? I, I think you should be prepared be prepared and also that boat is thooming jesus calm down i mean i know there's no speed limit but come on anyway so here it is let me know what you think in the comments this is the changes i've made da -da. Do, do 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 the cube i think that looks pretty good so i've only done this little corner so far because i wanted to get your feedback on it but um yeah, so I've changed a few ride colors. The first one is obviously the Water Rapids, which looked absolutely god-awful. Um, I was aware of that, and I just forgot to do it in my last video. Uh, so now that looks so much better. 
I love the look of this. And also the mouse ride I've changed. It was like a gormless, horrible, bright yellow, which I know you guys might appreciate. <laughs> um, but honestly, it doesn't match the color scheme. So we needed to change it. Also, I changed the little hypertube thing. So now everything is a little bit more matching. It's kind of got the like a tropical theme vibe inside of like the desert map, which is kind of awesome. So when you look at it from the outside, look at that. It looks so good. So yeah, I think we're making really good progress. Um, I still feel like we could do more around here. And I don't know if I want to just add vegetation or I want to actually add something else, but maybe that's the comment section question for today. But um, yeah, thank you for watching, you beautiful people. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.